This teal clip is the music that we want to automatically go quiet when people are talking, and this orange clip is the person talking. Now, while you can go and just use the built-in track level ducker effect, using Fairlight, which we're going to do here by clicking on the Fairlight button, gives you loads more control. So we'll just go and expand these down to see what's happening. The first thing you wanna do is, if you don't already see the mixer, click this button here to turn on the mixer, and you can expand this out. And the first thing you need to do is set the level of the music that you want to play when it's at full volume. If you click the little S here, that's gonna turn on solo mode so we only hear the music. And then, just use the slider to set the volume and then unsolo that. At the minute, both of these things are playing together. Got all of the different lighting. To create the audio ducking effect to lower the volume of this music, come over to the dynamics section and make sure it's for the music track and double click on this dynamics box. This is gonna open up the compressor, which you can turn on by clicking this button here to toggle it on. What a compressor does is it reduces the volume of something once it gets over a certain level, which is set with this threshold. Normally a compressor works on the actual track that it's assigned to, the music track. So if I just play this back, fixtures that make up this setup at the minute. You can see this bar here was going down, telling us how much the volume was being reduced for the music track. But in this case, we don't want the compressor to activate from its own music signal. We actually want the compressor to activate from the person talking for this orange clip. To do that, we use something called a sidechain. DaVinci Resolve 19 has made this super easy. Come down to this source dropdown and then choose the audio track that contains the talking. In this case, I've named the tracks helpfully Talking Head. So we're gonna go and select that. You can see now that we have this button. If you click this on, and then we just go and play things back. This that make up this setup at the minute. And you can turn them. You can see now we've got this side chain signal. And what this side chain signal is, is it's the audio coming from the talking track, which we've specified down here in this drop down. Now what we want to do is we want to set the threshold to activate this compressor for the level of volume of the talking. So I'm just going to go and play this back and modify the threshold loaded and here I've got all of the different lighting fixtures that make up this setup at the minute. So once you've set the threshold that triggers the compression, remember this is the threshold coming from the sidechain channel which is the talking, you can then go and alter the ratio. The ratio is how much compression is applied or how much the volume is reduced once it's over this threshold. So experiment with something about the five mark. You can fine tune this later if you want to. Play this back. This is already loaded and here I've got all of the different lighting fixtures that make up this setup at the minute. And and you can hear now when we've got gaps in the talking, the music comes back up to its loud level. And when the talking starts again, the put the minute and you can, the music goes quieter again. There's a few settings that you're gonna to wanna to tweak. The first is this attack setting. The attack setting determines how quickly the volume is reduced once the person starts talking. So if you set this to the minimum, when the person starts talking, the compression's gonna kick in really quickly and the music is gonna go quiet really quickly really easily like that and you can set if you set this to a longer attack value d really easily like the music is going to go quieter more gradually once the person starts talking normally you're going to want to probably give this a shorter attack time so the music is not too loud when the person starts talking quick shots so i can quickly switch between all of these presets different so you can hear there we've got this kind of music pumping effect where the music volume is going up and down up and down to stop that kind of pumping sound, you can modify this hold property. So this hold property is how long the audio will stay reduced even after it kicks in and even after the person stops talking. You wanna experiment with this and let's try about 100 and listen to this again. So I can quickly switch between all of these. You can see that pumping has reduced a bit so we might need to just increase that a bit more. So I can quickly switch between all of these presets. And the final property that you want to experiment with is this release property. This is how quickly the audio or the music will return to full volume. If you want it to kick back in really quickly when people stop talking, you use a really short release time. Let's find an example here. And you can set up presets. So if I come in here. So you can hear the music kicks in really quickly there. If you set this to a longer release, and you can set up presets, so if I come in here, we've got these... 
Notice that the music didn't even come back up to volume. So you want to finesse these three settings just to get the sound that you want really easily loaded. And here I've got all of the different. So there really is no one correct setting. You just have to experiment with the talking and the music that you've got.